Today we're doing the ultimate comparison of streaming platforms. We're gonna compare StreamYard versus Restream versus EVMux versus Riverside FM. And we're actually gonna jump into each of these individual tools and I'm gonna show you the differences in each of them. And if at any point during this video you want more information on these tools, my affiliate links to all of them will be down in the description. And some of them you get free trials with. Okay, so StreamYard versus Restream versus EVMux versus Riverside. I'm first gonna start with Riverside because I feel like it's the most different out of these four streaming tools. So Riverside specializes in taking high quality 4K interview videos. And that's what it's known for. Riverside has the best recording interview software there is. So if you're specializing in high quality interviews, Riverside is what you need. What's also different about Riverside FM is that it has a built-in video editor. I can highlight text from the transcript and hit delete and it automatically edits the videos. These other tools, they don't have video editors or like the ability to video edit at all. That being said, you can also invite people to be doing like recordings of live streams with Riverside. You just copy the link and you send it to them and they jump into Riverside. But I would say Riverside FM isn't designed to be like streaming. It's more or less for interviews. All right, next I wanna talk about EVMux. EVMux and Restream and StreamYard are extremely similar. And the differences are gonna be in the small details of the customizations that you wanna be doing to your streams. EVMux is like StreamYard and Restream, except it has more customizations. Like I can add plugins from the marketplace that I can add polls to my streams. I can add giveaways. I can add a YouTube player. I can add a teleprompter. This is a really cool feature that kind of distinguishes EV Mux from the others. StreamYard and Restream, they don't have this, but they do have a lot of tools built into their streaming software. With EV Mux, you can essentially customize pretty much everything you want in your stream. They have sound effects, music, you can add cameras, you can invite guests, you can do screen recordings. Like, check out this sound effect. That's pretty cool, right? That's an air horn, there's a crowd applause. When people comment, you can just you can just put it on the screen. I really dig that. You can do customized banners. But that being said, you can also do that same stuff on Restream in StreamYard. Another difference with EV Mux is they have what's called a studio mode. So like when I put this on there, I can see like what's happening before I go live and then this is what's going after live. It's kind of like a behind the scenes editor of what's being displayed to your actual audience. I don't think I'd use it personally, but it's it's a setting now let's talk about restream restream feels exactly like Streamyard with just a different interface the operating system of restream versus Streamyard is extremely similar there's a couple different features like i can add qr codes to my streams i can add music we can do chat we can show it on the screen like all the others do both of these tools allow you to stream in multiple platforms at once. All you have to do is connect them. Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and there's more. So to break down Restream versus StreamYard versus EVMux, it kind of just boils down to what like interface you prefer to use. StreamYard feels like the Apple product. It has a white interface. It's like overly simple compared to like all the others. But if you look at the buttons down here on Restream versus StreamYard, like they're almost identical. It makes me wonder if the same company owns Restream if they do StreamYard. Because everything is so closely the same that it's a little frightening. You can add custom music, you can bring up chat, there's a private chat behind the scenes, you can change the design of your streams, you can do backgrounds, you can do overlays, you can do green screens. Pretty much, if you're looking to stream, everything is customizable when it comes to Restream and EV Muck. StreamYard a little bit less, but StreamYard is like so easy to use and I think it's aimed at the total like noob as far as like technology. So maybe if you're in your 30s or 40s, I feel like StreamYard might be a better option. I'm not saying that you can't learn new things, but sometimes that older generation just prefers just something simpler and easier to use and you can concentrate on your content. So to wrap up the comparison of StreamYard versus Restream versus EVMux versus Riverside, Riverside is mainly for high quality 4K interviews and they have a built-in video editor. You can go live with it, but it's just, it's not like the other tools. EVMux and Restream and StreamYard, they specialize in going live. And then all three of these tools, EVMux, Restream, and StreamYard, they feel very, very similar. Let's take a look at the pricing. All right, so StreamYard pricing, if you pay monthly, it's 25 bucks a month for 1080 or 49 month for 4K recordings. 
Restream is 20 bucks a month or 49 Very, very similar to StreamYard, Restream. And EVMux, if you pay monthly, is 25 versus 49 So the three streaming softwares that are almost identical are pretty much the same pricing. So that makes it even harder to choose. And then Riverside is $15 per month and you get five hours of separate tracks. The Pro is 24 So that's essentially the same price too. Ah! All these tools are so similarly priced that it's even a harder decision. If you want my honest decision on what's the best for streaming, I'm gonna go with StreamYard. If I've learned anything from streaming after a couple years now, is that it's hard enough to concentrate on your content, but if you're trying to like use the interface and operating system while doing it, it just makes it more difficult. And I think the easiest operating system, which is StreamYard, is the choice for me. But if I'm recording high quality 4K interviews, I'm going with Riverside. And again, guys, please use my affiliate links if you're checking out these tools the link will be in the description from one creator to the next i'm just trying to help you guys out i'm rooting for you hit me up in the comments what kind of content are you creating what's your channel on what are you looking to do and please consider subscribing all right guys see ya